The conference hall at the residence of Honorable Solomon Igrapata was full to the brim with key stakeholders of PDP in Uwe local government area. Honorable Evelyn Oboro, who expressed deep appreciation to the Uwe people for standing by her, said it is high time the Robo Nation give a woman the opportunity to represent them in the Senate. She said she is very ready to be given a bigger assignment by the Robo people, having distinguished herself for her two tenures in the House of Representatives. The federal lawmaker noted that Delta Central has suffered a lot politically and has, particularly in the present political dispensation, lack adequate representation in the Senate. She opined that she represents the face of Delta Central in 2019 and the bold voice needed by the district to get it right in the Senate for the overall interest of the people in making the decision which, according to her, would determine the political destiny of the Robo Nation. The people must shun sentiment and primordial motives. Arrival Boro used the opportunity to call on the people of Delta Central to discountenance the rumor that somebody has been endorsed to contest for the Senate seat under the PDP. It is high time the Delta Central tries a woman for the Senate. And I am offering myself. I'm not here to condemn anybody. But rather, I am here to consult with you, to inform you, and to better convince you that you have always stood by me. And I have always given back to society. Enough of the crying in Delta Central. Enough of the wailing. Enough of the disenchantment. We have to move forward this time. And the person that I think you need to take your mandate to the Senate, to return back to society, is no other person than my own old self. Leader of PDP in Uwe local government area, Honorable Solomon Igrapata, while presenting Honorable Evelyn Oboro to the Uwe PDP stakeholders, described her as a great political asset to the Uwe people. He noted a strong and influential voice in the House of Representatives that has brought to our credit several bees, especially the much celebrated Fupe B, sponsored by her in 2014. Arabo Igrapata, Chief Willy Ashibu, Chief Mike Atire, and other speakers at the declaration pledged their total support for the Senate aspiration of Arabo Evelyn Oboro. Some call her Mama Empowerment. Others call her Empowerment Oboro because she has touched lives of so many of our people here in Gloria in our federal constituency and even beyond our federal constituency. So it is my wish and God's wish that the Senate that you are aspiring to go to, you will get there. Amen. The people of Kubia will stand by you. During the declaration, a vote of confidence moved by Honorable Peter Abogewa and Honorable Evelyn Oboro for her pragmatic and purposeful representation of the people of Ukbe Saple Uwe Federal Constituency was seconded by Wesin Esheti. Honorable Evelyn Oboro was in 1999 the minority leader in the legislative arm of Uwe local government. She later became the first female chairman of the council, first female first member of the Delta State Universal Basic Education Board and Waste Management Board, as well as the first Urobo female parliamentarian. Felix Eko, DROTV News.